Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth Martial Art Fitness, and I just want to say this, um, in this video, I'm doing a little something different. Um, yes, I've dropped a nunchuck a few times in, in, in the video, but I added some punches into it, some kicks or whatever. You know, through, just for fun, I'm not trying to be professional, I'm not trying to be perfect at it. Um, this is something new that I'm trying to do, um, just be free, freestyle on nunchucks, and I did six rounds of three minutes with, uh, a 30 second rest, and I just went with the flow and basically just, um, We went to flow and everything, and I just, you know, just love sometimes just switching my training up, and that's the thing, you know, sometimes you just gotta do that. When you're training in weapons, or if uh, you're doing other shadow boxing stuff in martial arts, you know, you just can't just be doing drills after drills after drills, otherwise it just gets kind of boring in your workout. And sometimes you just gotta be able to mix it up a little bit i mean yeah drills are good to know uh and stuff and you know do repetitions and everything else because when you do drills it actually makes the body have muscle mechanics and the memories and everything else and that, that's the thing i love about doing drills when you see me doing drills in in my videos it's because it helps you perform the technique better it helps you perform the technique smoother and everything after you do shadow boxing and when you do shadow boxing because that's what it does um it helps you perform in sparring it helps you perform in fighting um helps you be freestyle and everything else um only thing about doing repetition and what I do in my videos is that it it makes it where it builds the muscle memory and when you have the muscle memory well you can apply it into shadow boxing so that's the reason why or into sparring I mean or whatever you want to do in in your martial arts journey and everything else and that's the thing, you know, most of the time, yeah, you can't really take a nunchuck out on the street. You can't really take, um, you can't really take the nunchuck out on the street, but you can still practice it for good hand-eye coordination. Um, that's what I usually use it for. Um, even though it is an ancient Chinese weapon, and and plus it Bruce Lee used a nunchuck and stuff like that, um, I was just trying to just have fun, you know, be creative, do something different besides the same thing over and over and over. I know a lot of you guys kind of get tired of that a little bit, so I just kind of mix up my training some, and I did a little bit of Jikundo studying over the weekend on my days off. And I'm reading the Bruce Lee Tao of Jeet Do Complementary Ways of Martial Arts. And I'm about like maybe three quarters of the book. I've read it before. It's a really good book and everything. And I just want you guys to know if, you know, if you're a true Bruce Lee fan or whatever, if you want to learn his style, I would recommend... First, getting the Tao of Jeet Kune Do. Then, get the complementary ways of Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do. And after that, I'll get Bruce Lee's Tao of Kung Fu. And then, you would get Jeet Kune Do Chinatown by Tim Tackett. And Jeet Kune Do Chinatown Tim Cat Tackett 2. And then... There's another one where his daughter had made a book 
on Shannon Lee's Jikundo Kickboxing. And those three books has helped me understand what Jikundo <laughs> what Jikundo is really about. I have not gotten a Jikundo the leading jab, the straight lead jab um, book. But in the long run, maybe down the road, I might get it. Um, I might not. I mean, I have a lot of his studies anyway. And I have a lot of other martial art books that I've been reading on too, besides Chikundo. Um, but I really don't. Some of the books that I have, they require partners, and I really don't have anybody who's really training in it on how to do the techniques and stuff. But it's always good to read new information besides, you know, going on YouTube all the time, you know, trying to learn about the style. Sometimes it's just best to read read about the style and what you want to study and, and stuff like that. Because a lot of times, a lot of videos don't really tell a whole lot of information. But books tell you more information than what an actual video does. So, you know, I learn from both. I learn from home study videos, to YouTube, from books, um, from instructors, and other people when I get the chance to train with them and everything. And, you know, it's just, I learn new things every day. And that's the reason why I love martial arts, because it, it helps me cultivate my anger, it helps me calm down um, when I get pissed off, uh, or even when I'm having a bad day, it, it will help me realize, you know, things will get better before it gets worse, and so, I mean, for real, you know, martial arts is a good way to practice, it's a good way to stay motivated, it's a good way to stay calm in, um, in certain situations. And, and it's like this, you know, a lot of times, a lot of people, they think martial arts is just a way to kick ass. Well, to me, martial art is not a way to kick ass. Martial art, you, you know, the way to kick ass is only in the movies. The only way to kick ass is that if you train every day and not have to use it. That's the only way you can kick ass. Because the better, the more you walk away from a fight, it's better to do that than actually throw a fight. Um, but sometimes you can't really help it. You know, you can't really walk away from the fight in in some situations. But many you can. You know. That's your obligation just to get out of there, you know, and say, hey, I don't want no problems, and, and just go on your way. But if they enforce the fight, then you have no right, then you have every right to um, basically defend yourself, do whatever it is necessary to take the other per person out. And that's the thing. And that's the thing with uh, Bruce Lee's style of Jeet Kune Do. He didn't care who pushed him around or nothing in none of his movies. And, you know, he inspires me to do martial arts from this day on, even though he's dead. Um, but I still honor his name because of his. he's a legend. He's the godfather of martial arts. Uh, that's what I think because he combined all styles together. And a lot of people say he's like the godfather of mixed martial arts. And really technically, but I wouldn't really say Bruce Lee would do mixed martial arts because it has rules. Um, but I'm sure he would try it out just to see on, just to see on what he, he can do. But I, I know he wouldn't really do it full time. And, but you never know, you know. But Bruce Lee just trained in the art of Jeet Kune Do just for self development, not, 
you know, going around picking fights, not going around, you know, tournaments, showing off and stuff like that. He did it a couple of times to get his style recognized, but he did it more for the philosophical side of training. And that's the thing. That's the reason why I love martial arts because it has a deeper philosophy to it. It's not just about combat, but it also helps you better yourself every day and everything, an everyday task. And that's the reason why I love training in martial arts. And, and that's the thing. A lot of people... Do different things, you know, like reading, you know, they like to read books. Well, you read all kinds of books, you become a book master at reading in your craft and what you love doing. And same thing with art. You know, once you get good at art, you're always going to be good with the pen. And I remember uh in the movie Hero, where Jet Li was doing this thing with the... This one guy was doing the thing with the brush. He said, uh, the brush is mired like the sword. Well, if you draw, you develop good wrists. And... Good wrist strength for drawing. And that's another thing. You know, I, I do art in once in a while, too. And, but the thing of it is, Jikun, um, Bruce Lee's Jikun Do, the way I do it, but it's more like Jikun Kwan. It's the basis of Jikun Do into Kenpo, Karate, and Taekwondo all combined. And that's the reason why I made my style Jikun Kwan. And, because I wanted to be different than Bruce Lee. I wanted to make my own system up. Mix in with other styles that I love doing. So it's always be good to be shapeless. It's always good to be um, formless. It's always good to be like water, as Bruce Lee would say. And that's the reason why I mix my stuff up in a once in a while and everything else. So there you have it. This is uh, Seth Martial Art Fitness. Please hit the like. Please hit subscribe and hit that bell on notification next to the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. And please train hard, train smart, do your research, but stay safe. But most of all, have fun in your training. Put on some good music, move around with it, and just go to town. So there you have it. Says Martial Arts Fitness. Please hit the like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.